Hi there. Good news, Windows 8, Microsoft's next big thing, is coming this October. And even better news, Microsoft has completed its development and testing, and it has been released to manufacturing on August 1, 2012. Developers and IT professionals can download the full version via their MSDN and TechNet subscriptions from August 15th. Also, people with Microsoft Software Assurance for Windows can download the Enterprise Edition from August 16th and from September 1st, volume licensed customers without software assurance can purchase Windows 8 through Microsoft volume license resellers. Let's take a look at the consumer preview that is available for free download and check out some of its new features. The first thing that catches the eye is the missing start button, which can be confusing, but if you hover over the bottom left corner of your screen, up comes the start screen should you choose to pull it up. The strongest point of this OS is customization, which can be taken to any lengths, no holds barred. You can move your apps around, resize the tiles by right-clicking on them, unpin or remove them altogether. To add more apps, right-click on the blank space, select all apps, and voila! Then, all you need to do is right-click and pin them to the start screen. If you find the built-in apps inadequate, you can download more from the Windows Store. But here's a deal breaker. Windows Store has withdrawn support for the Windows 8 Consumer Preview in effect from July 2, 2012. So you'll just have to wait for the full-fledged RTM version instead. Want to close the windows in a hurry? Just click on the top edge and drag it to the bottom and you're done. Here's another cool feature, the Windows 8 Charms. No, it's not a magic spell, but a kind of widget that appears every time you swipe the right corner of your screen with your mouse pointer. Charms is your Windows 8 yellow pages as it lets you search for apps, settings, and files, and even within apps. It also lets you share content from apps, access connected devices, and manage settings for the system, and even the app that you're working on. Pretty cool, eh? By the way, Windows 8 can be integrated with your Microsoft account, which means you can also access photos, documents, and other files that you saved on your SkyDrive prior to using Windows 8, just as though they were saved on your PC. And hey, you can upload new files to SkyDrive easily and access them later from any computer that has an internet connection. Windows 8 comes in with Internet Explorer 10 as a default. The websites you open will be in full screen and you can navigate through them easily. To add or remove tabs, simply right-click on the screen. You also get the option to pin websites to the start screen. Another useful feature that Windows 8 includes is Windows Reader. This lets you view PDF files without installing any additional software. Pretty cool features there. You can do all this and way more on Windows 8. So, if you want to explore Windows 8, download and install the Consumer Preview and take a stroll through it yourself. Keep watching for more and of course, any questions or suggestions you have are always welcome. In case you face any tech issues, call our toll-free number and we'll be happy to help.